Tonight, guys, I want to talk to you about something very important, and that's a Kenner Star Wars toy released in Canada that's a little different, because you know those Canadians, they always got to change something up. And this is something you probably not noticed, and we need to dig into why it's different. Let's talk about the Kenner Star Wars Hulk Ice Planet from the Empire Strikes Back collection. You may remember this one. This was what I call the poor man's ad at playset. You know, the kids that couldn't get the ad at, they got this playset. It was basically the Land of the Jawas playset painted white with a new cardboard backdrop behind it of an ad at. Had the elevator, just like the Land of the Jawas Sandcrawler had an elevator, but the backdrop was ad at. And it had a little canopy where you could put figures in it. It was pretty cool, and it did until you could get your hands on a big ad at. Hopefully at Christmas time. Now, if you lived in the U.S. and you got one and you opened it up and you played with it, you thought nothing about it until your friend from Canada came down with his. Let's say his name's Dave Foley. He came down to play with you and he brought his Ice Planet Halt playset also. And you played around and you noticed something that looked odd. Hmm. Before we look into why the Canadian was different, let's take a look at the backdrop for the U.S. release. And as you can see here, it's kind of like a 3D ad ad. You notice they have the chin guns. And although you can't see it in this photo here, there is a little window on the front of the ad ad head where the driver would look out. I mean, the ad ad driver has to see where he's going. And that's a look at the US release. Now, let's look at the Canadian one up close. At first, you may not even see a difference. It's like playing that game Hocus Pocus in the weekly reader. You know, where you had to spot the differences in two different pictures. But if you look closely, you'll notice that gun on the chin of the AT-AT is missing. And, although again, it's hard to see in this photo, it doesn't have the little window cut into the head so the AT-AT driver can see out. I guess up in Canada, they don't need a windshield or see where they're going. But there's more to it than just the chin gun and the little window. Let's go back to the US release. If you notice in the background, there's a lot of AT-ATs on the ground. And look closely. See that? The chin guns, as they should have. Now let's go back up north. Can you believe it? They're missing the gun also. Was this some kind of anti-gun statement from Canada? Did they order them to be airbrushed out? And if that's the case, why did other toys have guns on it? Looks like the Rebels still have some kind of weapons. As you can see right there, without a doubt, there's two different releases. There's the US release and the one in Canada, the variant. But why? It makes no sense. Now, Canada wasn't like the UK where they produced some of their own toys. All the toys were shipped from the US up to Canada. So why was this done? They had to go back in, either redraw it or airbrush it out or something, and send it up to Canada and nowhere else. It makes no sense at all. So it got me to start to wonder. Hmm, I wonder why this is different in Canada and nowhere else. It makes no sense. None of the other toy backdrops really changed. Hey, I got an idea. Let's look at the 31 back. Here's the 31 back card of the Empire Strikes Back. Down in the lower corner, you see it. Hoth Base playset. It looks a little different. And I'm not even talking about that weird looking Han Hoth that has brown trim on his coat. We'll get to that in another video. But you can see here, the backdrop's different. Why is the backdrop totally different than even the US and the Canada one? Well, let's look at the prototype of the Hoth Base. Here it is. As you can see, the backdrop was completely different. But what does this have to do with the Canada release and the US release? Well, let's go to the 32A back card from the Empire Strikes Back. As you can see here, the playset in the lower corner has been replaced with the now soon to be released Hoth playset. Now I know these photos are small and it's hard to really get detail in this video, but look closely. Strain those eyes. On this photo here, it's missing the side gun on the ad at and believe me, I got out my magnifying glass, even the ad ads in the back are missing. The Canadian release backdrop on a US card? What's going on here? Well, it seems to be a simple answer to that. First, you had the prototype. Then they spoofed it up, fixed it how they wanted it to look, and they didn't put the guns on the chin, the visor on the head of the ad at or even guns on the fallen ad at So it seems they printed some of these, shipped them up to Canada to get them ready for release, and then Kenner said, you know, we forgot to add the guns to an ad ad. Ad ads have to have guns. So they went back and added the ad ads on the guns on the US release. And they said, who cares about informing Canada? All they care about is their crazy bacon and Anne Murray. 
So they didn't even tell them. They let them print out the original piece and put it with the toy. And back in the US, they updated the art in the background and added the guns that we're all familiar with today. So does this mean that the US one is a variant and the Canadian one is the original or released one? Hmm. That makes you wonder right there, doesn't it? <sighs> well, there's one thing we know for sure. I spend too much time looking at old Star Wars toys, because I'm sure most of you say, I wouldn't even notice those guns being missing on the Canada release as it is. But, but that seems to be why they're not on the Canadian version, but they are on the US version. Now, of course, we have no official documentation of why this happened, so maybe it's just a theory, and maybe you can let me know in the comments below that it doesn't hold water, and this is why, let me know. If you have a better explanation of why the Canadian guns were removed, or I guess you could say the guns were added to the U.S. release. But that's about all we have for this. I want to thank you for watching. Thumb up, turn like my content. Subscribe to the channel. And we'll talk again soon. Hey, jump man, <laughs> channel popping though. Thank you, sir, for that unsolicited testimony. <laughs>